Hi, sixth grade. Time to get your English notebooks out and let's begin. You will need pens and highlighters to take accurate and legible notes in your notebook. This will be taken for a grade. Feel free to pause the video at any time you need to to make sure that you have everything that is required. Please label your notebooks 10.5 Main Verbs and Helping Verbs, page 341. There is no 10.4 lesson. Let's begin. Verbs have four basic parts. Here in the chart, you can see that there is a base form, present participle, past form, past participle. And each is a little different depending on the helping or auxiliary verb used and the ending. We'll come back to the chart later. Definition time. A helping verb, an auxiliary verb, is a verb that helps the main verb tell about an action or makes a statement. Hint. A helping verb doesn't stand alone, meaning there is it has a partner. Hint, it's part of a verb phrase. Here are some examples. Justin is studying for a test. Is is an auxiliary verb plus studying equals the present participle. You can go back to the chart and see that the study has an ing ending. Justin is tired. Is is a linking verb in this case because it's linking the subject, Justin, to what he is, which is tired. Notice, is is the only verb, so this cannot be a helping verb in this case. For a list of common auxiliary verbs or helping verbs, refer to the chart that's in your 10.3 notes. Be and have are the most common of the helping verbs. Here is a chart for your notes. Our last definition is verb phrase, which consists of one or more helping verbs followed by a main verb. Example, have you been using my pens? The verb have been using. That is the verb phrase. It contains one or more helping or auxiliary verbs plus the participle. We have been learning about rocks. Our learning is the verb phrase because it contains the helping verb and a participle. Let's go back to the chart that you should have copied in your notebook. First you have the base form. As you can see there's no ending at the end of the word. Present participle, you usually have the words am, is, are, was, or were, plus adding an ing to the base form. That's how we get learning. I am learning. We are learning. Next, past form, you add the ed at the end. And past participle, you add have, has, or had, plus the ed at the end on the base word. Don't forget your note taking. Since there are a lot of notes in this video lesson, we will work on the practice examples in class. Remember to bring your completed notebook to class the next school day for notebook credit and so that we can review the skill in class. Just a friendly reminder that if your video lesson notebook work is not completed, you will earn a homework notice. See you in class!